fighting. They say that Israel needs to end its blockade of the Gaza. Here in Central Ohio, several organizations are calling for a ceasefire in Israel and an end to the oppression of the Palestinian people by the Israeli government. TV's Colin Dorsey spoke with people who have family there in Gaza and the West Bank. He joins us live tonight. And Colin, what are they saying about the situation there overseas? Yeah, Andrew, here at the Ohio office for the Council on American Islamic Relations, several people got up today to call to an end for that fighting. They say that Israel needs to end its blockade of the Gaza Strip and also end what they call are apartheid-like measures against the Palestinian people. I cannot find words to describe what's happening right now. These photos are what Shireen Amro is getting from her family members in Gaza, the small section of Israel that's home to more than 2.2 million Palestinians. She says the last few days have been nerve-wracking as she waits to hear from them every day. It's a nightmare because like, I'm sometimes scared to look at the phone because I don't want to hear the expected news of something happened to them. And those messages are coming farther and farther apart, as much of Gaza and the West Bank are now without electricity or phone service. The war between Hamas and Israel has already left several thousand dead and more injured, many of whom are civilians on both sides. CARE Ohio Executive Director Amina Barumi says the money the United States is sending to Israel is only leading to more violence and the continued Israeli occupation of the Palestinian people living in Gaza and the West Bank. Our government has the ability to put an end to this by not funding and being complicit and by calling an end to the escalation and truly being able to find uh, the ability to talk about freedom and justice for Palestinians. Mason Razul's family is mainly in the West Bank. He says Israel's decades-long occupation of Palestinian areas is nothing short of oppression and will not change until there's some sort of mutual agreement. There must be a better future for the region uh, without holding one side uh, of this accountable and putting all the blame on the occupied uh, people. You're never going to reach anywhere. Now, there was also a local representative for the national organization, Jewish Voice for Peace. That was Connie Hammond. She says no matter Israeli or Palestinian, that every life lost is someone's family member. She believes the United States shouldn't take sides in this conflict and hopes Israel will bring an end to its occupation of those Palestinian areas. Live in Hilliard, Colin Dorsey, 10 TV News. Tomorrow night, several local Jewish organizations are hosting a community prayer in support of those in Israel. There will be uh, learning sessions about the situation that is unfolding there. It's happening at 7.30 at the synagogue on Main Street in Bexley.